Oh math god guys, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be learning a lot. But before we begin the video guys, it's very very important that you make sure you subscribe, you leave a like, you leave a comment. And please guys, don't forget to click on that notification bell button. That way you're notified every single time OMathGat oh uploads a video. So without further ado, let's begin. OMathGat. Oh Hello guys, how are you guys doing? In today's video, we're gonna be learning how to transform a fraction into a decimal. Let's begin. So let's say you have a fraction, 51 on top of 30, and you wanted to express that as a decimal. Do you know how to do that? We'll learn about that in this video. How, steps, and how do I know I'm finished? So we have two parts. The first thing we have to do is actually identifying the two parts the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is always going to be in the top of the fraction and the denominator is always going to be in the bottom of the fraction. The second step is that you actually have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Guys, please, please be very careful when doing this because most people forget and they divide the denominator by the numerator and that is not the case. So when doing that, you have to remember you divide the numerator by the denominator right? So 51 divided by 30, that's 1. 1 times 30 is 30. We subtract, we get 1, and here we get a 2, and then we get 21 divided by 30. Because we have finished with all the numbers here, and we have already reached a remainder, we can actually continue adding a comma. So that we get 21 0 divided by 30, which is going to be 7. 7 times 0 is 0, and 7 times 3 is 21. And when we subtract it, we get a 0 of remainder, so we know we have finished. So again, in this case, if we want to express 51 divided by 30 as a decimal, we know that's 1.7. Remember that this can also be expressed as 1.7 and repeating zeros to the right. But we're going to keep it simple in this video and not add those zeros because the answer is not going to change. What about 17 divided by 50? So another example. Again, we have to identify. Identifying is the most important part of the problem. Basically understanding that the numerator is going to be in the top and the denominator, again, it's going to be in the bottom. Then we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Again, the top divided by the bottom and not the opposite. So again, we have 17 and we're going to divide it by 50. So in this case, 17 is too small. So we're going to do 17 by 50 and that's going to be 0. So, so 0 times 50 is 0, we subtract and we have 17, then we add a comma and we add a 0 here, so 170 divided by 50, that's 3, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 5 is 15, and when we subtract we get a 20, and then because we have finished with the not main number up there, we can and we have already added the comma, we can continue adding zeros. So 200 divided by 50, and that is going to be 4. 4 by 0 is 0, and 4 by 5 is 20, and we subtract that. And again, we have a remainder of 0, and that means we are finished. So again, 17 divided by 50 is going to be 0, 34. So guys, that's very, very useful for your daily lives to identify the numerator, the denominator, and then change it into a decimal. So now we have 15 divided by 99. Again, we're going to begin by identifying which one is the numerator and the denominator. Again, the numerator is in the top, so that's 15, and the denominator is going to be in the bottom, so that's 99. And again, 
we divide 15 by 99, right? So again, we're dividing the numerator by the denominator. You have to remember that. So in this case, we're going to divide 15 by 99. So we divide 15 by 99, you're going to see that it actually fits zero times, right? So when we divide that, it's going to be zero. And we're going to have 15 again. So whenever that happens, what we can do is that we add a comma. That comma is going to give us 150. 150 divided by 99, that's going to be 1. 1 times 99 is 99. When we subtract that, that's going to be 51. And since 51 is smaller, we're going to add a 0. So 510 divided by 99, that's going to be 5. And then 5 times 99 is going to be 495. And when you subtract that, that's going to give you 15, right? And since we haven't finished, we have to continue. So that's 150 divided by 99, that's 1, that's 99, and when you subtract it, it's going to be 51. So now, 51, you, add a, you would normally add a 0 and know that 51, 0 divided by 99 is 5, but then you see a pattern. You see that there's 15 here, 15 here, 51 here, and 51 here. And you also see that these numbers are repeating. So that means that it's going to continue being 15, 15, 15. So you have to be well aware of this so that you don't divide forever. This means that this fraction is a repeating decimal. So that means that 15 divided by 99 can be expressed as 0, 15 with a line on top. If you don't understand this problem, you may also want to check out the video of changing and understanding repeating decimals. So that is it guys, we have to first identify the numerator, identify the denominator and divide the top by the bottom, the numerator by the denominator. We have to take into account if it's going to be a repeating decimal or if it's not going to be a repeating decimal, meaning it's terminating. You can check out the videos I recommend in the description below, which are understanding terminating and understanding repeating decimals. And that's it for today. So feel free to rewatch the video and practice these problems on your own. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.